I'd like to call the third meeting of the 2015-2015 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the meeting today? Thank you, Mayor. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important, capture the good things, develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, just take another shot. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to uh, extend our appreciation to Clerk Sue Richards. Uh, Governor Walker has named uh, May 3rd through the 9th as Municipal Clerk's Appreciation Week. So she and her staff have done a great job for us over this past year. We just want to say thank you very much. Thank you. Um, next, please uh, call the roll. Um, there are 13 present. Okay, Alderman Brian Bitters, Alderman John Bellinger, and Alderman, Alderman Eldon Berg are all excused and uh, pr uh, approved. Next, we'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America, America. And, and to, to the, the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next, we'll go on to the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, will the, uh, all those in favor please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next, uh, City Attorney. I do have one resignation, uh, Mary Ryan from the Senior Center Board. Alderman Hammond. Move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to public forum. City Clerk. Thank you. Um, first on the list is Renee Roosh. Is Renee here? I don't see her. Next is Melissa, Melissa Brash. I don't see her either. And John Bemis. John's not here, and that's it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, next, under uh, Mayor's announcements, I've got a proclamation uh, today. Uh, just read this. Whereas our city's continuing efforts to address critical issues of safety, energy efficiency, water conservation, and resilience in the built environment that affects our citizens both every day life and in the times of natural disaster give us confidence that our structures are safe and sound and whereas our confidence is achieved through the devotion of vigilant guardians building safety and fire prevention officials architects and engineers builders tradespeople laborers and others in the construction industry who work year-round to ensure safe construction of buildings and whereas these guardians dedicated members of the international code council use the government consensus process to bring together state and federal officials with expertise in built environment to create and implement the highest quality codes to protect Americans in the buildings where we live, learn, work, worship, play, and whereas the international codes, the most widely adopted, uh, adopted building safety, energy, and fire prevention codes in the nation are used by most U.S. cities, counties, and states. These modern building codes also include safeguards to protect the public from natural disasters such as hurricanes, snowstorms, tornadoes, wild land fires, floods, and earthquakes. And whereas Building Safety Month is sponsored by the International Code Council to remind the public about the critical role of our community's largely unknown guardians of public safety, our local code officials, who assure us of safe, efficient, and livable buildings. And whereas resilient communities start with building codes, the theme for building safety is the theme for Building Safety Month in 2015. It encourages all Americans to raise awareness of the importance of building safety and resilient construction, fire prevention, disaster mitigation, water safety and conservation, energy efficiency, and new technologies in the construction industry. Building Safety Month 2015 encourages appropriate steps everyone can take to ensure that the places where we live, learn, work, worship, and play are safe 
and sustainable and recognizes that countless lives have been saved due to the implementation of safety codes by local and state agencies. I now therefore, Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do proclaim the month of May 2015 as Building Safety Month. I accordingly encourage our citizens to join with their communities in participation in Building Safety Month activities. We'll uh, turn this proclamation over to the Building Inspection Department tomorrow. Okay, next we'll go on to the consent agenda. The consent agenda will include items 2.2 through 2.8. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all, all ROs, accept and adopt all reports of committee, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of those items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? I don't have it on mine either. Yeah. Well, that's not good. <laughs> and I can't log in. Hmm. Under the unanimous, I might be able to get that. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes with one negative vote. Item three is reports of officers. Item 3.1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Tracy Cotterbach requesting that she be allowed to park a 55 foot Peoria Express yacht on the east side of the Sheboygan River directly north of the slips occupied by the Wolfpack Charter Fleet and north of the floating dock for the kayak rental. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion, I'd like to call up Chad Pelichek for a brief explanation. What we intend to do with this is this boat is too large to be in our marina. If it was in the marina, it'd stick out into the aisle about 10 feet. So we tried to find <coughs> a location that would work. It's currently parked on the corner on the other side of the river in front of what's nature's best area. Um, and it's sticking out there too much. And if they move it around the corner, there's some damage to some of those docks and it's going to be difficult. So they've asked us if they could park it on the other side. We've done this in the past, as you recall when uh, John Shores had a shoreline excursion boat, um, that boat was allowed to park there and <coughs> tie in. So um, when he was there, it was, it was given to him at $1,200 a year um, because he had a business and he was running a business on South Pier. Since these people are not running a business, um, I have asked them for 3000 and they've accepted it. Um, so I think it gives us some revenues and it also uh, helps us in our whole large boat big boat drafts that we're trying to accommodate in the harbor. Um, so I think it's a win-win. It'll be no further uh, st strain on us. We don't have to put any public improvements in. They'll just tie up to it and away we go. So if the council proves this tonight, what we intend to do is negotiate uh, a final agreement uh, that puts everything in order based on this email correspondence. If there's Thank any you. questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Any questions for Chad? Um, Alderman Boren. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, Chad, would that be uh, in the area of where Lino's restaurant is in that area? No, it won't be that far down. It'll be kind of um, where the old, do you know where the old popcorn, do you know where the old shoreline cruise boat used to park where popcorn planted in that? So you have like uh, Jamaji Salon and now you have Prohibition Bistro and then you have Dumper Dance and then there's that big larger Plex building. It'll right. be right outside of there. Okay, thanks. I see no other questions. Thank you, Chad. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. 
Items 3.2 through 3.11 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 4.1 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond accepting $493,500 in community development block grant disaster recovery funds from the Wisconsin Department of Administration for the 2008 storms and flooding that occurred in the city of Sheboygan. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, again, I'd ask that we suspend the rules. Okay. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you. I'd move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, are we ready to take a roll? Let's role? try it. Let's try taking a roll Do with the clerk. Word? There it is. Got it. Yep. Got it? Yep. Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 4.2 is a resolution by Alderman Bellinger authorizing entry into a contract with Miller and Associates of Sauk Prairie for the purposes of supplying and installing new playground equipment at Kings Park. Alderman Thiel. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion. And second, is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Make a motion to pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderman Lassard. Yes, thank you. I'm wondering how much is, is this playground equipment going to be costing? I might have missed it if it was put out there before. Please go ahead, Chad. This is part of that bank grant, U.S. bank grant that we got. So the total cost is 25000 and we got 23000 So there's about 2000 coming out of the parks budget to make up the difference to the 25000 But the majority of this will be funded by U.S. Bank. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Items three point or rather four point three through four point nine will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, 5.1 is an RC by law and licensing who is, who is referred RO number 362 of 1415 and RO number 268 of 1415, submitting various license application and recommends that the beverage operator's license ap application 0697 be denied based on her failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to uh, refer this back to committee. Is there a second? I second. Okay. Uh, we have a motion then to send this back to committee. Is there any further discussion? Seeing not, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Items five, item 5.2 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred RO number 362 of 1415 and RO number 268 of 1415, submitting various license application, recommends that the beverage operator's license application 0692 be denied based on his failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on his application, his record of, re of violations related to the license activity, and his record as a repeat law offender, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Please proceed. Is Clinton Adams here this evening? He is not. We did invite him two separate times. He did not show up. Thank you very much. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Nice. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is an RC by law and licensing who was referred RO number 362 of 1415 and RO number 268 of 1415, 
submitting various license applications and recommends that taxi cab driver's license number 0355 be denied based on her failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on her application or record of violations related to the licensed activity. Her record is a repeat law offender and a failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Please proceed. Is Kavana Ruffin here this evening? Um, again, we invited him or her to the meeting and she did not show up either time. Thank you very much. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Uh, section six is other matters. Both six point one and six point two will be referred to various committees. Um, then we have other matters. City Attorney. We have just one, 7.1, submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2015 and June 30th, 2016 and June 30th, 2017. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. Next we have a scheduled closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in Section 19851E of the Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale of public property for competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session related to the former Boston store site and property located on Main Avenue and the former Shukert property. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Will the clerk please call the roll for passage on closed session. It's not catching. Hi. 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 Thanks. Aye. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. I will take a short recess, about three to four minutes. And I just want to advise the viewing public that we will be uh, adjourning in closed session, so we will not be coming back on the air after this tonight. Thank you.